I'm Ben Iorio, and I can solve Rubik's Cube in under 25 seconds. I first learned how to solve Rubik's Cube in sixth grade, and since then, my interest has grown, and I've increased the amount of time it takes me to solve it. It first took me a minute and a half to solve a cube, but now, like I said, it takes me 25 seconds or less. Now, I'm going to need some help, because I'm going to solve this cube, but I don't have a timer. So I'm going to need all of you to just help me count down from 25. So I'm going to say, ready, set, go, and then I want you to start counting down from 25. Everyone ready? Ready, set, go. 1974 by Hungarian architect Erno Rubik. It was invented to teach his students about 3D objects and how parts could move independently without falling apart. By 1980, the first batch of Rubik's cubes was shipped, and over the next three years, it would reach its height of success, selling 100 million Rubik's cubes in just those three years. Today, over 350 million Rubik's cubes have been sold, and people still solve them, some for fun, but others for competition. In Rubik's Cube competitions, these speed cubers solve for time. And they learn special methods and get special cubes so that they can do it as fast as possible. Also in these competitions, are different, they solve different types of puzzles. Puzzles of different shapes and sizes, like the ones I have here. And also, but they also do some of these blindfolded. For blindfolded solving, the person memorizes the cube and then solves it without looking. And the whole, during the whole time of memorization and solving, the clock is counting down. But in competition, some people, there, the competitions can get weird enough so that some people even solve it with their feet. I'm not going to show you a picture of that right now, though. But outside of just the cubing community who solves for time, there are also those who solve even more complex puzzles. Now, people take these puzzles and try to figure out ways to solve them. And most of these can be solved similar to how the regular Rubik's Cube is solved. Now, today, I wanted to talk to you because this year, I started the Rubik's Cube Club at my school. Cubing offers something that is challenging, but also something that you can see yourself make progress in and improve it. And I wanted to share that with my school. As many of my fellow students started to try to learn, it was tough, but as they kept going at it, I saw the progress improve. So to those of you watching, I highly encourage you go out, find a Rubik's Cube, and try to solve it. Thank you. 